welcome to the project demonstration of PC control stepper motor. So here the main purpose of this project is, so from the laptop or from the computer, we can control the direction, you know, rotation of this stepper motor. So as we know that stepper motor rotates in stepwise. So if you use a DC motor instead of this stepper motor, then automatically there is a uh, no angle of rotation, no step size rotation in the DC motors. As we switch on the motor, then it rotates and when we off the motor it doesn't uh, inform to us where it's going to be stops so when you want to rotate in a step size manner like uh, in applications like uh, antenna uh, controlling systems or else uh, any robotic application to say, uh, like uh, feed the size of any ribbon or any cable then we're, there we're going to use this stepper motor and uh, this stepper motor step size rotation in the forward direction or in the reverse direction that will be controlled from our laptop by using the USB to TTL converter. So here we are using USB to TTL converter means the laptop will provide us the USB data. So that will be uh, can't understand by our microcontroller to make it understand we need to convert the logic levels that's USB logic level to transistor transistor logic level the TTL logic level that will be con uh, converted by this PL2303 uh, USB to TTL TTL to USB converter. So from this, our microcontroller will get the uh, data input from this one from the laptop. And here we are using the controller of PIC 16F72 microcontroller, the 28-pin PIC microcontroller. So we have interfaced this USB to TTL converter at B0, B1 pins. And uh, the stepper motor interfaced at A0, A1, A2, A3 pins. Through this ULN2003 stepper motor driver. So as uh, directly we are going to provide the pulse signals to this one. So microcontroller can't handle the stepper motor current. That's why we are using this driver to handle the stepper motor current. So this is the total PIC microcontroller motherboard. It has a mainly three components. One is the microcontroller. Another is a crystal oscillator which is used to provide the 20 MHz clock frequency to the microcontroller. So the purpose of this oscillator, uh, oscillator oscillations are like we have provided the set of instructions to the controller. Each instruction will be executed by one clock pulse. So per clock pulse per instruction. So that controller can execute 20 mega instructions per second as we are providing 20 MHz clock frequency per second. And the third one is reset switch to restart the microcontroller just press and release so the controller restarts from the starting onwards so remaining all are like uh, power LED indication and this is the program LED indication whenever give, uh, we are providing the uh, input from the laptop this, the, uh, then this light will be on and off continuously so let us see demonstration before on the kit for execution so we need to install one application that is a converter driver application PL2303 so like install that so if your laptop doesn't have the dot net then it will ask you to install that then you need to install from the internet so once it shows this then you can connect this usb to ttl at any one of the usb slots of your laptop directly right and then you can switch on the power supply to the power kit and now so here click on continue so here you need to select a node no need to restart the laptop right so as we have interface that now to get the communication number so to which com port it was interfaced communication port number so to retrieve that click on the this piece uh, right click and go to show more options and then go to manage so in that go to device manager so there we get the ports here so you can see that ports so there we get this com4 here so if it is shows like uh, install uh, reinstall and some other errors then go to update driver right click and go to update driver browse my computer drivers so let me pick from this and then you, could, you need to select the 2008 version here and then next that's it it will be installs and the errors will be uh, gone and we will get the com number here so right now that's it note on the com number so whenever you place this over here it will keep on giving the only same com number if you change the usb slot then com number will be changes and the next folder is hyper terminal folder in that hyper term right click on that 
సో ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ లాస్ట్ ఫుడ్ ద కంట్రీ కోడ్ అండ్ ఆల్ సో కీప్ ఆన్ ఎంటర్ దండ్ ఓకే ఓకే దెన్ నెక్స్ట్ టైం ఆన్వర్డ్స్ ఇట్ విల్ ఆస్ ఫర్ ద నేమ్ ఫస్ట్ నేమ్ ఎనీ నేమ్ యూ వాంట్ ఎంటర్ అండ్ దెన్ సెలెక్ట్ ద కామ్ నెంబర్ యాజ్ కామ్ ఫోర్ విచ్ యూ గాట్ ఫ్రమ్ ద డివైస్ మేనేజర్ అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ రిజిస్టోర్ డీ ఫాల్స్ సో నేమ్ ఎనీ నేమ్ కామ్ నెంబర్ రిజిస్టోర్ డీ ఫాల్స్ ఓకే అండ్ నౌ యూ కెన్ రిజిస్టర్ ద మదర్ బోర్డ్ రైట్ సో దేర్ వీ గెట్ ద ప్రాంటింగ్ ఈజ్ లైక్ వెల్కమ్ టు పిసి బేస్డ్ స్టెప్పర్ మోటర్ కంట్రోల్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ స్మాల్ ఎఫ్ ఫర్ మోటర్ ఫార్వర్డ్ స్మాల్ ఆర్ ఫర్ మోటర్ బ్యాక్వర్డ్ సో నౌ సో జస్ట్ వెన్ ఐ ప్రెస్ ఎఫ్ దెన్ ఓన్లీ ఎల్ ఇండికేషన్ ఓవర్ హియర్ అండ్ ఇట్ రొటేట్స్ ఓన్లీ వన్ డిగ్రీ వన్ అరౌండ్ ఆఫ్ ఎయిట్ డిగ్రీ ఆఫ్ రొటేషన్ రైట్ సో వెన్ యూ కీప్ ఆన్ హోల్డింగ్ ద ఎఫ్ బటన్ సో ద స్టెప్పర్ మోటర్ కంటిన్యూస్లీ రొటేట్స్ ఇన్ ఫార్వర్డ్ డైరెక్షన్ and small r for the backward rotation so every one input means when we enter the f then the stepper motor rotates with a uh, degree of 8 degrees rotation so as we discussed initially the main application of this project is wherever you want to control the rotation in step size not continuous rotation there we need to use the stepper motors this is a dc stepper motors right thank you